So I've got a spreadsheet here. It's got these numbers here with decimal places. And I want to show you how you can change how many decimal places are used or displayed. And I've got two functions here for that, integer and round. And they are different in that the integer basically just loses the decimal places. It just chops them off. Whereas round, how many decimal places you want to display. There are two other functions as well, round up and round down, and I've got those in another video and the link is below. So the other thing I'm going to do is show you how to format it so it just displays the number of decimal places. And why does that make a difference? Well, it's going to affect the calculations and I'm going to show you that right now. So I'm doing this here on Windows, but it works exactly the same way on a Mac, except that the dialog box comes up on the right hand side as the formula builder. So let me show you how to do this. We're going to start with integer, which is just going to remove all of these here. I'm just going to go into my formulas tab over here. Now we are going to use insert function in a moment, but I'm just going to go to here, math and trig, click here, and I'm going to scroll down until I see int, which is short for integer. Click on that. And the only thing it wants you to put in is the number that you're interested in. So let's just click here. That's A3. And you can see it's changed it to 3 here. So let's click on OK. I'm just going to copy it down by using the autofill just by grabbing the bottom right hand corner and dragging it down. And you can see it has just lost the decimal places here. Now round is slightly different. And we're going to round things to one decimal place just to demonstrate this. So round will round up and round down. Now, if you want to always make it round up, there's the round up function. If you always want it to round down, there's the round down function. And as I said, I've got that in another video. So let's do that. Let's just click here on my insert function. Now you can click on insert function here or in the formula bar. Exactly the same on the Mac. Let's just do it here. Let's just click on insert function. The dialog box pops up. Because I was just looking at the math and trig one, it's chosen it here. If you don't know what to look for, you can always just type it in and press enter or click on go. And there you've got it round. And how about that round down and round up are right there. I can double click on that or I can click on OK. So the number is this value here, just like we did before. And then the number of digits that you want to display. We're just going to put in one here and it's showing it as 3.2. If I put in zero, it would be the same as doing the integer. It would just chop it off, basically. So let's click on OK. And let's just drag that down. So what I wanted to show you is that if you were to use either of these values that you see displayed here in a calculation, such as multiplying it by 10, it doesn't know what the decimal places were before. So if I multiply this by 10, it's not going to be 32.1. So let's just do this. Let's multiply that. Let's just do equals 3 times 10. And let's just drag that down. I'm going to drag it across as well because it will also then pick up the this value here. So this here is this value multiplied by 10. But what if we didn't want to lose the actual value itself? Well, Let's just have a look at that. I'm actually going to kind of copy these across. Let's just copy these to here. Let's just paste it. Okay. Let's just get rid of the bold there. I can do Control B or Command B on a Mac. So for formatting, I'm going to highlight all of these. I'm going to go back to home. And it's over here in this number section of this tab. And it's this one here that will reduce the decimal places. It's decreasing the decimals. So let's just click on that. And there you go. It's moved it. It's changed it to the one that was the lowest value anyway. So 3.2. I can increase them. I can decrease them. And let's decrease them again. So that's what it shows. So what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to actually multiply that figure there. Equals times 10 and look at that it actually knows what the whole number is okay so when you do this 
The advantage of formatting is it doesn't lose any of the data. This actually trims it out. You've still got it here, but over here and over here, it's removed it. So the integer loses the decimal places completely. Round, you specify the number of decimal places. And if you format, it doesn't lose any decimal places. It's just how you display it. Do check out the other video on round up and round down. If you do like this, please do like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.